This is Virtuoso Lesson 160 with Bernard Kitchens, and it is January 15, 2016. And let's begin with the uh, scales two octaves. Nice. You skipped ahead. That was that was your hand advancing too quickly. That's all it was. Yeah, see, actually, your motion, everything was right. Again, that was the same thing that occurred yesterday where your hand jumps farther down the road because of your arpeggio motion. That's all that is. Yep. You're at the octave. So. You got a black note. Oh, nice. Keep going. You're at the octave. Which one did you just do? Blue. So what's next? Oh. There you go. <laughs> Threes and fours in the middle. Try again. Try again. Threes at the octave. Okay. 
Yes. Get your thumbs. Good. Let's run the arpeggio. Let's just go ahead and do hand over hand right there. Jump down an octave. Say the alphabet name as you're going through these. And that was F. Okay. C. This is G flat. Yeah, sure. Thank 
Let's go back to F and let's run both hands simultaneously. Yep. Just the normal hand, hand, each hand moving arpeggios simultaneously. So start back it up. Sure. Yep, the expanded ones. Yep, it's good down an octave though. Yep. Three, two, one in the right hand. Three. Uh huh. Just try again. Same. What's the chord? It's there. There you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Try to keep your rhythm going. Keep stretching. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Stretch to the white note. Keep that visualized chord in your mind. Good. 
Nice. G flat. Yep, and this is where you change your fingers because you got the white note in the middle. So what fingers start? Yep, you got it. Four and two. Right again. Good. Good. Go to the next one. What's next? A flat. Good. Same fingering. Just start on that four and two. Good. You got it. So go ahead and do that one one more time. Yeah. Yeah. Stretch it. There you go. Hit it. Good. And next, after that. What's the name? Okay. What's the name this of it? Is, uh, e flat. Yes. Go down an octave. Same fingering. Yep. Okay. Let's run through all of them one more time. So let's go back to F. Nice. Nice work, though. Keep it going. Just try to. No. Uh huh. Keep it going. Nice. Good recovery. Keep going.
Nice. What's this one called? This one is G flat. Okay. Make sure you have twos and fours. Yep, okay. Make sure you got your fourth finger in the right hand. Start. Okay. better we were, you were faster today um 
you know, that's a lot of information to take in. So mostly what I'm looking for at this point is just first, first and foremost, I know it takes time. It takes multiple passes for multiple days in a row to get this down. And, and the first step is just getting uh, your, actually your thought process condi conditioned more than it is your muscle movement. And then your muscle movements will follow. But, you know, it just takes time. No different than the scales did. So, very good. Let's go to um, book five, lesson four, song two. So if uh, if no sharps and no flats with C major, and this has one sharp, what key are we in? Like one sharp. So it's one step away from key, from C, by a fifth. So what's it going to be? G. It's going to be G. So when you see one sharp, that's G major. Or red orange, however you want to view it. So, let's play the, um, we're, we're, we're dealing with the sixth interval of chords. So put your, go, let's do right hand. Put your thumb on G. And then put your second finger a sixth away. Okay. So, Let's just play this scale up. Now you've got the green note in the, as part of the scale. Uh huh. Yes. And back down. And do that a few times. That two and five, yes. Nice. Let's go. Let's do another one. Let's drop down by one. Let's put thumb on that F sharp. So move down. Move your thumb to the left to the green. So that's on F sharp. And so go a sixth away. Where's your second finger going to be from your thumb? Yep. So thumb and second finger. Okay, so On orange, right? Yeah. Okay, go for it. And right there's your your other green. Yeah. So you got two of them in this one. Keep running it through. Same thing. Let's do a different one. Let's put your thumb on yellow orange. Go down to the lower one though. Yep. And now second finger is going to be where? Good. Let's run this one through. If 
if you get lost, you can always start again. So we were on yellow orange to start. Good. Go back down to the thumb on green, which is F sharp. Uh huh. And second finger is going to go where? Yep. Go for it. So you got two greens in this one. Just remember. Now try it again. Got on. Uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. And then. And again, nice. Let's go back to the go back to the yellow orange one. Thumb on yellow orange, down an octave, down an octave. Uh huh. There you go. Second finger up. Yep, you got. It. To green, go down to green. Uh -huh. Get those fingers fanned out. There you go. Okay. Where's that green? Okay. Watch your fingers. Now you're skipping a finger. You're skipping your fourth finger. Where's your fourth finger go? Your four. Your fourth. There you go. That's it. Yep. Good. You got it. Nice. Go back to yellow orange. Nope. Stay down. Stay. So don't move so far. Yeah, you're just, you're really close. Okay. Where's that second finger go? All the way up to green. Yep. Okay. Nice. Go back down to green. One more time. Stretch it out. Where's that fourth finger? There you go. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. time on that one. Mm -hmm. Keep moving. Good. Keep your hand there. Keep your hand right there and let's play measure one. And you can just rough it out. Don't worry about counting. Just move your thumb. Just move your thumb. That's all you got to move. Everything else is set. Nope, you're going higher. Look at look at if the chords are going higher or lower. Oh. Okay. Yep. All you got to do is move your thumb. So start again. Uh huh. Move your thumb down by one. Everything's just going down by one. So where's your fourth finger? Where's your fourth finger? Uh-huh. Do it again. Same measure. 
and then we'll go into measure two. Keep going. Good. Go to measure five now. So the second line. Same hand position. No, what's that chord? Red orange on the bottom and Middle. yeah. Uh -huh. move, your, move your thumb up. Okay, I'm looking at book five, lesson four, sound two, right? Yeah, let's go back to measure one. Okay. So there's that one, right? Uh huh. Good. Let's try it one more time. Just those two measures. Four. Good. Reposition to the uh, yellow orange hand position. So move your thumb up to yellow orange. Second finger up to green. Good. Now play starting at measure three. So that's yellow green on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Just move your thumb. Nope, nope. That's a thumb on orange and a fifth finger. Where's your fifth finger covering? Okay. Uh huh. All right, so it's. Uh huh. Remember, these intervals are wide. Where's your thumb? Oh, there it is. Uh huh. Okay. So it's there. Mm -hmm. Moving down by one. Just notice it's coming only down by one. Uh huh. And what's that last one? You either look at the bottom note or the top note. Only all you need is one. Don't switch your fingers. Keep your two, three, and four where they were. His second finger's on green. Let's start that. Go. Okay. Second finger's on green. So let's start that measure again. Okay. So start at measure three. Move your thumb. Keep moving your thumb. Only your thumb. Okay. One step down. And now it's two steps down. Just your thumb. That's what you're focused on. There you go. Now do it again. Nice. Just down by, uh -huh. One more time. Good. Uh -huh. Good. Go on to the next measure. Same hand position. Two and five. So stretch out that fifth finger. Uh huh. And then you're moving your fifth finger again. Uh, uh huh. Moving your fifth finger again and your thumb. Okay. So up by one step. Uh huh. Moving your thumb down. Uh huh. Moving your thumb again. Up by one. 
And then these are just scale moves up by one. So where's your, uh huh. And down by one. And down by one. And down by two. Nice. Let's start all of line two again. That was nice. Stretch it. That's a that's a big stretch with oh, the finger. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, so it's. Uh huh. Yep. Just look at that flow. It's going up. Back up. Uh huh. Down by one. And down by two. Nice. Let's do it again. Line two. You're getting better. Let's start at measure three again. Same hand position. Okay, keep going or? Yeah, keep going. to um back to major so just put your thumb and third finger on those two notes just like it says so just drop your hand position down go to red orange on the bottom third finger on yellow and start playing away position up. You're on one and three right now. You're just moving your one and three up by two steps simultaneously. Just lock your hand and move it up. There you go. And you're ready to keep going. But put your third finger on that red orange. There you go. And you're ready to go. Move your thumb down by one to that red orange on the next line. Go ahead and move your thumb down one step and pull in your third finger to your other hand position, third finger in yellow, and you're ready to go. Uh -huh. Up by 
I was. Back up. And you're on, in, you're on one and three right now. Move them simultaneously up two steps. And you're in your new hand position. Just move them to the right, two steps. And move your, yep, there you go. One and three, yep. And you're ready to go. Just moving that thumb. Right there, right? Gotta move your th Yep. Play away. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. You got it. Keep going. Where's that fifth finger go? Stretch that fifth finger out. Oh, there we go. Stop right there. You're on one and four, right? Mm -hmm. The next one just says to put your fifth finger where your fourth finger is. It's the same chord. And by moving that fifth finger, move all your other fingers simultaneously. That uh-huh, and that gets you back ready to go for your next hand position. So go ahead and hit one and four. Wait. No, I mean one and five. Sorry. Sorry. One and five. Just like you were. Uh-huh. <laughs> Now you're going to one and four, not one and three, but one and four. Uh huh. Okay, just move that thumb and go. No, one and four. Wait. It would be the yellow, orange, so, and green. Did you skip that one? I just didn't hear it. Wait. There, right? Yeah. Start that measure again. Yeah. Start okay. that. So one and five. One and, one and five. Uh-huh. Keep going. Yep. Good. Yeah, and that was your original hand position. Good. Start again. You're already there. You're ready to go. Let's play it again. Just move your one and three up simultaneously, two scale steps. Jump, jump, jump. At the same time. Good, go. Jump right in. Yeah, stay right there. You're ready to go. Drop your thumb down by one. Got to get back to your original hand position. And then put your third finger on yellow and you're ready to go. Move your one and three fingers simultaneously up to that next one. Just move them simultaneously. One and three. There you go. And you're ready to go. Same hand position. And then you just slide in that fifth finger where your fourth finger is, and that gets you to your next hand position, and you keep going. Move your thumb. 
Nice. Let's count it. Eighth notes. One and two and three and four. And let's start again and just count it this time. You're already there. Ready to go. <coughs> Got a nice note. Yeah, just keep going from there. Yeah, move your hands simultaneously, both fingers up to your new hand position. And you're ready to go. Yeah. Try that again. Try that measure. Just don't stop your counting. Just get ready to move. Drop your thumb down to the next line. Thumb down by one. Reposition. Okay. Jump right in. Nice. Ouch. You got it. You're there. You're ready to go. Keep counting. One in. One in. Nope. Right movement, you just missed the notes. Count strong. So, one and. Up and down. That's all you're doing. One and. Nope. Uh -huh. Right, right rhythm. Okay. You got it. Good. Move your hand up simultaneously, both fingers, one and three to reposition, and you're ready to go. Count strong. Good. Go on to the next line. Count strong. You're already there. Nice. Now just reposition to that one and five finger. And got to get that fourth finger over. Get that fourth finger on the green coming up. And then you're ready to go. Okay, now do it. Try that one again. That's a tricky one. Here. Five. 
Count strong. One and two. Had to already be. Yeah. So notice that your fifth finger is changing three times in a row. Five, five, five is what's happening, you right? Or five, four, five is what you're doing. Your 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 fifth finger is changing. Okay. Go for it. One and two. Mm -hmm. That's it. Uh, four and a starting. Uh -huh. So try it again. Good. Just play the just play the top note of those last two measures, and so you notice what the movement is with your fifth finger. Do it again. So it's so it's five five four five three. Move that fifth finger. Do it again. Just that. So all you're doing is moving your thumb every time in coordination with that. Uh -huh. Keep that fourth finger. Fourth finger set. The only thing that moves is your fifth finger. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. You're almost there. One and two. <laughs> almost, you just had to hold that count out, but the movement looked good. Let's try it one more time. You're, you can get it. One and two. And it's a quick hit. Just four or five. You just got to pull your fifth finger in next to your fourth finger. That's all that movement is. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. You're just sliding your fifth finger over. One and two. Ah, hold that one because that's a quarter note on that one and that last one and five. So okay. one more time. You can get it. Nice. Yeah, I mean, it's meant to challenge you a little bit right there just to, it, it's not that those chords are that hard, but it, it seems harder when you put it in the rhythmic context. But the idea is to, to, to just get used to how your fingers are moving beneath it and to see it within a particular key. But that was really nice. I mean, you, you got the rhythm again. And again, our goal with these is just to rough them out. We're not looking for perfection. It's just to be able to see the flow of how these intervals of a sixth work with your hand underneath and, and just what your fingers are doing in a given hand position. So that's pretty good. Well, let's leave it at that for today. Um, that'll conclude lesson 160 with Bernard Kitchens on January 15, 2016.